really cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Good morning, Strike Jesuit. I'm John Harrison. And I'm Andrew Kekia. Today is Wednesday, April 24th, day three on your schedule. Welcome back. Let's head it over to Sham with today's prayer. Good morning, Strike Jesuit. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy birthday to Mr. Olson. Have a great one. Many SJ athletes have been signed to play college-level sports next year. Here's a look at where they're headed. The Photography Club is sponsoring a photo contest for the, oh, I should have commented on the video, for a month of April with the theme Motion. Please send your submissions to sjcp underscore library at strikejesuit.org by April 30th. Winner will be announced on May 1st and will receive a $25 Amazon gift card. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Inquiring minds want to know, how well do you really know your teacher? SJET has the answers in our new segment, SJET's Know Your Teacher. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm lucky. Hello, I am Dr. Berger, and this is SJET's Know Your Teacher. Okay. When did Dr. Berger start teaching at Strake Jesuit? This is my sixth year. I had never taught high school before, and I was terrified the first few days of uh, standing in a room full of 20, 25 uh, young men who, when you think about it, it'd take them max 45 seconds to tie me up and suspend me from the ceiling. Where did Dr. Berger grow up? As much as I ever grew up, um, I'm originally from Kansas City. I uh, came to Houston to go to college. Of course, like so many other Midwesterners, I came to Houston thinking, Oh, it's going to be all cowboys and cattle and uh, big hats and big belt buckles. And while that's partially true, I stayed and uh, I've now been here over half my life. <clears throat> what is Dr. Ruger's favorite memory at Strake Jesuit? Can't help but remember uh, a few years ago, the students shaved my head. They talked me into it. And in a moment of weakness, I agreed. And uh, that'll probably be the last time I ever shaved my head. What is Dr. Berger's favorite food? Well, like any good Houstonian, I love Tex-Mex, possibly fajitas with cheese enchiladas, tacos, and uh, a nice cold beverage to wash it down. All right, where did Dr. Berger go to college? My undergraduate, I went to Rice. My undergraduate major was political science. Ever since then, I've considered myself a Texan. I'm Dr. Berger, and this has been SJET's Know Your Teacher. Well, thanks for that, Doc. The spring play, 30 neo-futurists plays From Too Much Light Makes the Baby Go Blind, opens in the Loman Theater tomorrow at 7 p.m. and also runs this Saturday at 7 p.m. Next Thursday, May 2nd and 4th, 
May 2nd at 4 p.m. and next Saturday, May 4th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 in the Spirit Store and $3 plus a dice roll, anywhere from $4 to $9 at the door. The show will run for just over an hour. Come watch the ensemble and crew attempt to perform 30 plays in 60 minutes in the order you want to see them, with the timer counting down on stage. Here's a sneak peek at what your 60 minutes could look like. My name is Danny Tran, Felipe Cortez, Joseph Eaton, Kate Kaler, Jerry Gonzalez, Mariana Beer, Joe Wynn, Christopher Johnson, Cole Smith, Andrew Kekia, John Harrison, he doesn't pick it all, Mr. Seaman, my favorite play is Give and Take, Title, Bad Review, This play does not exist, We are all individuals, The Art of Acting, Love Andrew, Days of Wine and Rose, Guilty Tyranno, Fights of Fancy, Tool, The Autobiography of a Match, I love the energy of this show, and I love the intensity of the show, I like the shirts, how absurd it is. And I like not wearing a suit for a straight play. And it's different every single night. How unpredictable it is per night. Getting to change the numbers on the scoreboard. Running across the stage and using props. I just love the energy of the play. Running on and off stage. The ensemble. <laughs> hey. I hope you come enjoy the show. You can catch us there, those dates. On Sunday, May 12th, on 2.05, the Skeeters will be facing off against the Long Island Ducks. Come out for a fun day with your classmates and friends at Constellation Field. There will be a pregame catch on the field and team autographs with the Skeeters. The Strake Jesuit Boys Triple Trio Choir will be performing the national anthem prior to the game around 2 o'clock. To purchase your tickets, go online to ticketturn.com ticketreturn.com and use promo code JESUIT. Tickets are $12. Uh, you can ask David Sutherland about it too. I think he's involved with the team. The Pro-Life Club is currently running a diaper drive through Friday. Check out the club details about their drive. Well, the Pro-Life Club means a lot to me. I have been a member of that as a, as a faculty liaison for about 14 years. I believe that uh, the babies in the womb need a voice, and I feel that if we are not their voices, then who would speak for them? One of my um, most memorable moments was our trip to Washington, D.C. Um, we went, uh, it was 40 students that we took. We were five chaperones. It was extremely cold, yeah. and, uh, but it was, it was wonderful to be able to march. There was probably 300,000 people marching in D.C. with very cold weather, and we went all the way up to the steps of the Supreme Court, uh, prayerfully uh, seeing a lot of young people. That was just, that was the highlight. Being pro-life at its very core is actively living out uh, the call to defend life in all of its stages, from conception to natural death. We're not a very big club, um, but um, uh, and I think sometimes people misunderstand the club. Some of the activities that we've done, is, so the trip to D.C., we go to the Texas Rally for Life, we went with St. Agnes. We have done diaper drives, participated with uh, speakers, invited speakers from outside of the school or within the school. We've done the cupcakes for the birthday of the babies that are not born, and the day of silence where people wear that red tape on their mouth to be in solidarity with those who don't have a voice. So there's, there seems to be a little bit for everybody. I think it would be amazing to see, well, the moral fabric of a country would be how well they treat their babies. Whether you are pro-life or not, the Pro-Life Club is having a diaper drive in the PMC through Friday the 26th. There are families in our community with newborns who need our help. So if you are willing to donate newborn-sized diapers, all diapers will be taken to the Birthright Center. So please be generous. <laughs> cool. Driver's Ed will be starting on Monday, April 29th at 5 p.m. in room 201. If you're interested, be sure to sign up in the Dean's office. 
Put your friends to shame by putting your Wheel of Fortune skills to the test with a game of Wheel of Fortune. Well, it's Drake Dizzle. That's all we have for you today. I'm John Harrison. And I'm Andrew Kekia. Uh, thanks for some great years on here. Stay classy, Drake Dizzle. Yay. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. One, one last important announcement. Would you like some free tickets to Endgame? Follow the QR code on your screen. Wow.